Three. Good evening, my fellow DP Yoga Freaks. This is Russell the Tuba Geek. Uh, it's currently October the 6th of 2012. I had some videos recorded for yesterday, but I just wasn't happy with them. So, here we go again. Uh, anyway, um, where things stand right now? Well, <laughs> I'm not going to say that I've completely fallen off the wagon, but my workouts have not been exactly consistent. Um, I weighed in on October the 1st, uh, just to get an idea of where I was, because I really, really slacked it in the month of September. And uh, I weighed in at 300 pounds exactly, so I'm still losing weight. Um, I'm not losing it nearly as fast as I had in the beginning. That's not saying the program's not working. That's my fault. It's on me. Um, being somewhat right, not completely, you know, uh, just pretty much cutting out things that I shouldn't be eating and trying to limit my caloric intake is pretty much where I stand on that. Um, the thing that's been doing it, for, not been doing it for me, is the fact that I've not been doing my workouts. Um, I'm really dealing with the issue of getting my time management in check, um, figuring out the best times for me to work out. Um, I always want to work out, but then there's always something that comes up something comes up and <clears throat> that could be something happening at home it could be that there's something I want to watch um, expecting an email it could be any number of things something gets in the way so I guess I need to start doing things more of the way I had to do things in college um, I had to block my time out, saying from time A to time B is this, from time B to time C is that, um, C to D is the other thing. And just do that over the course of a week and see where things fall into place. And that's going to be, pardon me, that's going to be my uh, sequence of events for next week. I'm going to get, try to get some workouts in still, but I'm going to look at my schedule, look where things fall in um, for a standard day for me, and then go from there. Um, been dealing with a little bit of emotional gravity as well. Um, had a pretty sizable blow up um, between me and another family member um, earlier today. Um, some things were said. Some things were said that were actually pretty hurtful for me. Um, as I was on my way to run an errand, I just I had all these thoughts running through my head. Uh, nothing of wanting to harm myself, but more of what if he's right? What if she's telling the truth? You know, what if everything that's been thrown at my face is completely accurate? And even after receiving an apology, um, via text message uh, for the blow up it still hurts um, you know I've been working for the past eight months to rid myself of the stigma that comes with who I am I've been guilty of being a lazy bum of being a slob, of being 
a lot of different things. And uh, I'm not proud of it. You know, I'm not seeing her, you know, louding over the fact that I'm, I've got a house that is, well, if I showed you, you know, it, you'd think I was, I belonged on an episode of Hoarders. Um, I don't, I assure you, but it's definitely not, it's not a clean and tidy place. But it really hit home. And as and as you can tell, I'm it's still lingering in my brain. I fought with this this feeling that I'm getting right now. It's something I've fought with for 30 years or more. Um, which isn't much more cons when you consider the fact that I'm 36. So, definitely not that much more. But I've dealt with the, the insults and the teasing and the backhanded remarks and all of that. For a long time in my life, and I thought I'd grown a thick skin. And I really thought that since starting DDP Yoga, I had really learned to not necessarily push it aside, but been able to push back against it. And today, just that wasn't the case. Um, I mean, part is because the, if I had pushed back, it could have resulted in some not so favorable things occurring. Part of you wants to take some time off and reassess everything, um, reassess my emotional state reassess my commitment, reassess my my want and desire to push forward. I don't want to quit. But When you thought you'd gotten past all the teasing and all of the insults and all of the backhanded remarks and all of the whispers that are said, that you know are being said about you while to your face they say all the nicest things in the world to you. It only takes one person to say the wrong thing at the wrong time and the wrong tone of voice for all the work that you've put in to come seemingly crashing down on top of you. And I apologize for seeming like I'm picking my nose, but for some reason I've got a massive itch right now and it's just driving me nuts. Anyway, I digress. I set a goal for myself to be at 275 pounds by Thanksgiving. At this point, do I think I'll make it? I want to believe that I can. But right now, I've really got to, as I said, I've really got to reassess where I am and what I need to do and how I need to do it. Because it seems like at this point all I'm doing is spinning my wheels. I 
my brain keeps telling me to stop this video and start over, but I, I'm not going to. If this turns out to be a 20 minute long video, so be it. You know what? Screw it. I shouldn't be sitting here feeling sorry for myself. Because that right now, that's what I'm doing. I'm giving myself a pity party. Pity party RSVP 1. And why? Because I let somebody, let the words somebody said about me try to dictate who I am. You know what? I'm going to tell you who I am right now. I'm a father. I'm father of three wonderful kids. I'm father to a boy who shouldn't even be alive right now. I'm a husband to a wife who has put up with a lot. I'm not <laughs> husband of the year material. Believe you me. I've done a lot of stupid stuff. I've said a lot of stupid things. I've made her cry on more than one occasion. I've upset her on more than one occasion. I'm a brother. I'm a son. I'm a tubey geek, a band nerd of the highest order. I'm an Eagle Scout. Who at one point thought he was not going to get that award. And pushed through and fought and worked hard, worked my ass off. There are, several, there are a few things that define me as a person or define me as who I am. If you ever feel down on yourself, look back on your history. Find those moments in your life where you can look at them and go, that defines who I am. For me, that's things like Earning Eagle Scout, being a musician, being a college graduate, being a husband, being a father, being the man who pulled his lifeless son out of the water. And being calm enough to talk to 911 dispatchers to explain what was going on while his wife was a emotional blubbering wreck. Yeah, I'm going to reassess. The only thing I'm going to reassess is how and when I'm doing my DEP yoga. Because I am not. No. no. I'm not going to let someone's words destroy me. I want to take those words. Put them into a diamond cutter. And when it's all said and done, everyone who has ever doubted me, everyone who has ever taken me for granted, everyone who has ever thought that I'm nothing more than a worthless piece of trash, when it all comes down, they will feel the 
Bang! <laughs>